In this tutorial we will be mail merging from a data source. We start by opening our text document. This will form the template for our document. We press F4 on the keyboard to see our data sources. As you can see we have our MySQL data source and our spreadsheet source. We're going to use the spreadsheet source today. So click on spreadsheet source and click on tables. And we should see sheet 1. And we see the information we have on here. We need to click on the column header. Click, hold the mouse button down and drag to our writer and you can see the fields are being copied over there we go we can apply whatever formatting we want on here and we'll see it when we either print the document to the printer or in the case of writer we can print to a file okay we're creating a form letter so we say yes and we're printing to a file we can print to more than one file for example if you're producing a, a set of invoices and you wish to have separate invoices in each document for each user we're going to use a single document and we'll have to save the output so we're going to do a new file saying output and what we'll see in a second it'll print the file and once we open the file output we'll see this from the first page we press page down to the next page you can see the second entry and so on to the third entry this shows you that we're merged to a document we can close this and we're going, now going to merge for labels so we go up to file choose new this time choose labels and on a labels section disconnected okay we're going to use let's just use the spreadsheet source again sources sheet one and the fields we're going to use are let's clear out the redundant stuff we're going to use name, gender, age, and our telephone number on our labels. We have various choices of manufacturers available to us, but I have eight free labels, so we can choose those as our choice. As you can see there's a long list of other different types of Avery labels available to us. We can choose the, the inkjet label that we're interested in. When we click on format we can see how the label will format on the page. We can see that we can get 21 labels, 3 across, 7 down and all the spacing involved in printing out the label. Now in the options we have need to make sure that synchronized contact is checked and then we click new document this will now create our document and every single label will appear in the document any changes we need to make to our labels we make them in the first top left hand box so for instance we want to put the word name on here 
and use the synchronize button to synchronize the labels and this concludes the tutorial